Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello ladies, welcome to my spot. Approaching a man on social media slash real life. Now this podcast was requested by one of my followers on lady followers on Instagram. Very, very beautiful young lady. Um yeah, you listening, love, just <laughs> shoot, you you like on a bad day you're a nine. <laughs> In fact, you look like this other beautiful uh, woman I, that's a sister of a friend, a very good friend of mine. And I, at first I saw your picture, thought you were her. And trust me, she's gorgeous. <laughs> so, yeah, both gorgeous. <laughs> and But she, she, she's got a very good heart, very smart and intelligent. And that's part of uh, what I need to bring up in approaching a man. Because understand something. Yes, we understand that in general men might want a woman to approach him, but most men going to approach you. Most men are going to approach you. In fact, uh, uh, honestly, women should actually sit back and allow the man, in general, allow the man to approach you. Because we know how y'all do. Y'all give a signal or something. But, you know, sometimes you meet that guy and he might not approach or see you or something. And you realize you got to put yourself in a position that he even know you there. So one of the ways in doing that is just reaching out to the guy and saying hello. Like, say, if you're on Instagram or something, right, hit him up. Just say, hey, you know what, I follow you, um, you know, I listen to you, or I saw you, or I like some picture or something. Like, for me, for example, I've, uh, I've had quite a few women, young from young ladies to women closer to my age, hit me up because they saw a video. They saw some of my videos, and they've hit me up on um Instagram, they've hit me up on Facebook, and they would tell me straight up. They would tell me straight up, oh, yeah, I saw you in this video. They named the video and tell me straight up they think I'm fine or whatever, and they could go for it. Big, and, you know, that's very important. Now, yeah, they did their approach and all of that, but sometimes you're going to see that type of guy, and that guy might not know who you are. And, that's a, and you're going to get that, especially with a guy who's popular. He might be a, like, um, you know, he could be a YouTuber. He could be somebody, go to the store that you work at or something. And he don't necessarily, he might not see you or something, but you're interested anyway. And you just, it's just got to be one of those things where, okay, you can't sit, you're not in a position to sit back and wait for him to approach you. So like that one, like one, and she might or might not check out this uh podcast i can i can just text her and tell her i've mentioned her um but she actually saw me she she hit me up on facebook and then sent me a message and i was just like oh me and her are cool me and, me and she let's just say let's just say she's in the inner circle we'll leave it at that and but she was very one of the ways she did that she was just very direct see if you gotta do it just be direct don't play around with it if you have to approach, that's the most important thing. You need to be direct. And you don't need to you don't have to be direct in a goofy way. Like, oh, well, you're so fun, or try to be goofy or anything like that, because that might turn him off. Like if he's just some guy who just wants just regular sex or something, yeah, it might turn him on. And then all you would need to do is just make sure you got some sexually provocative pictures or something and you know, hopefully you you might get them. But if you see him, like say you follow him on social media, right? Or you see him in real life and you see you get a chance to sit back and see him. And you see he's a serious person. Like he's trying to do something. He ain't just some dude who just fine to you, but he got some other stuff going on. You got to be direct with him. Because the thing is, it, especially if he got all that going on, other women think it. So if you come indirect, you still competing with that other woman who's going direct. And like I said, you don't, yeah, we, we already know you probably want to have sex with them or some or have a chance. But sometimes just come up and say, look, I want to get to know you. In fact, I've had that quite a few times just off of social media. Because the only social media is I do, I ain't on Facebook as much. I'm still there. But I've had people, I had, like I said, I had one woman hit me up there. Um, you know, you get some attention on, on that. Now, on the social media thing, and I can, I can attest to this. 
if he's smart, he's going to think you have some agenda. Because I've had some women hit me up on social media, but they, they weren't interested. They were trying to get me to support whatever they had. Like there's like a sale or something or some business or even some OnlyFans thing. You know, I've had uh, one woman, I guess she okay. Um, nothing against her or anything, but she's, she was saying, hey, you got, you can get a special price on my OnlyFans. And I'm like, I don't pay to save pictures. And see, a sharp dude's going to be that way. That's why you need to be sharp and uh, quick. You know, you might try to hit him up on some indirect stuff, like say he's doing videos or he got some business or something. He's just going to keep it at that level. He's going to keep it at that level. See, understand from the man, if he's a sharp man. Now, if he's just some dumbass who just on there looking good and, well, I can't call him a dumbass, but just he just on there looking good and he halfway looking for some uh, uh, women, period. Oh, yeah, he's going to jump on you. <laughs> but then you're going to get some other stuff. But you just say, hey, you know, and just be very specific on why. If you like checking him out and, you know, you heard him do some videos or he has some good quotes or something, just tell him exactly why. And you say, look, I think you're very handsome. I'd like to have a chance to get to know you better. You know, there was a shoot. There was a woman, um, young, young lady I dealt with. She might see this particular podcast. She, you know, saw me on here, got, um. Uh, Got to see a lot of stuff. She wanted just to meet. She offered to take me to dinner. Very direct. Like, just be direct with it if you're going to if you're gonna be on that approach. Now, if you're on social media, one of the things you want to do, especially if you, like, if you just want sex, if you just want sex, like I said, just, just have your butt hanging out or something. <laughs> You'll get some. In fact, you won't have to approach anyway. God's going to be hitting, like, blowing up your, like, uh, inbox anyway They're going to be DMing you anyway Sliding in your DMs But if you're serious One of the things on social media Is how you present yourself And social media in public You know If you want the man Like I said It's easy to get a man If that's all you want is sex Just look sexy You know Have your provocative stuff But if you look at that man And you're just like You know what I want to get to know him better Want to be in a relationship with him Something like that You got to present yourself you got to have a balance between looking sensual and looking like somebody who can be an asset to him. You can be in a relationship to him. Men, I'm just going to be raw with this. Men want a freak in the sheets, but a lady in the streets. So if you're going to be sexy, you can still wear a nice dress or something that shows your curves, but it shows it in a classy way or, you know, pants or whatever. So it still shows your, the key is it shows your feminine form, but then because you're dressed a certain way, you, he's going to automatically focus on what's on your mind. Like, there was a woman I met one time. There was a woman I met one time. And she had a very attractive, nice body, but she was, she was, she was classy in how she dressed. Right? And um, nothing worked. It, it, basically, nothing worked out because the vibe wasn't there. Not so much because she wasn't attractive. Very attractive and stuff. Just at the time, I was dealing with too many women. This was when I was younger. I was just dealing with She was just too much. But I saw this woman again later on a popular TV show. It was a reality show. She was the wife of the contestant. I could give the name out. I'm not. But when I saw I said, wait, I know her. And you know, then this dude, this dude. I mean, it was they were definitely they were a great couple, great looking couple. I was like, you know what? Because this dude was sharp. I was like, you know what? That makes sense. I mean, I wasn't mad at anything. I was like, that makes sense because of how she presented herself, how she carried herself. She got this top notch master of the universe type of man, All right? Now I don't know who approached who. But it was her presentation. I say that's what she get. If you're approaching a man, you got to think about your presentation. Your presentation is important because just like y'all, see, something that's not said, just like women can judge whether or not they're going to date a man in a few seconds. There are some men who can do who do the exact same thing. And usually these are the top notch dudes. They will look, they check out, they will check out everything, how your hair is. They looking for any visible tats. You know, they looking at how you dressed and before they take you to another level. Like I said, now you get some guys, they just thirsty. They ain't going to take whatever. But one thing I've noticed when women do approach a man, he's usually top notch. He's top notch. Women don't approach bums. 
Now, the bum might get her if he approaches her and he's persistent, but women approach top-notch men. So you have to look top-notch. So if you're on social media, you reach out, those pictures you have need to look classy. If you're going to approach him in real life, you need to be classy. Even in how you speak to him, you can't be like, hey, dude, you fine. He might be like, thank you, and keep walking. But you go, hey, how you doing? I saw you over here. I'd like to get to know you. My name's so-and-so. Boom. That actually happened to me. I remember oh, publicly. That's happened to me a few times. Now, here's the thing. I noticed something. I noticed something. When I was younger, you know, my body's tighter, you know, I had that model look. I would still get women approach me, but it was strictly on a sex thing. It was strictly on a sex thing. You know, they just see me in some sweats or something like that. They weren't trying to get to know me. But when I got older, I still get approached again. Like, I was in a, a small retail store. And even though I wasn't the owner, just, just the vibe in there, I could have been the owner. And, you know, but I had a nice little shirt and tie on, everything like that. A woman came in and actually just introduced herself to me. And, uh, you know, and sometimes they might do it depending on the culture. Because this particular young lady was from Ghana, and she just walked up and introduced herself. Because, you know, to many people, uh, it's not a stress to say I look either Caribbean or West African, and I'm good with that. So, but she just walked up and introduced herself. It was real cool. She was dressed classy, sexy, but classy. Introduces, hey, how you doing? Boom. It's that easy. It's that easy. But it's important on your presentation to get that top-notch man. So anyway... That's all I got for now. I'll talk to you later. Peace and many blessings.